Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 27729. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. If you enjoy videos like these, in which we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, inside settings and then personalization. And then if you go to text input, we're going to notice that Microsoft is adding the customized copilot key on keyboard also on the Canary channel. So basically, this is a feature created especially for the copilot plus PCs where you have the copilot key. You can choose what happens when you press the copilot key and you have search or also custom. If you want to select a custom app to open while pressing the copilot key. Related to settings, we also have a new option in system. And then you're going to notice this option handoff show app icon when handoff is available. You can turn it on or off. I'm not really sure what this feature feature is about, but it's something that will basically work whenever you're not active at the computer or something like that. Not really sure. This is a feature that Microsoft is currently testing and it's hidden in this build, but can be enabled using Vive tool. Also we have the control which apps can use handoff feature and we only have OneDrive here. We're also getting a new snipping tool app update in this build. And for that, you can go into the Microsoft store, then to downloads and then click on get updates. And you're going to get the latest snipping tool app update, which basically includes a new option called copy as table which will allow you to copy a structured table data into an email document or spreadsheet really easily. So I think that is a pretty nice new feature that has been added to the snipping tool app in Windows 11. We also have a few fixes in this build. For example, Microsoft fixed an underlying issue causing some games including Microsoft Solitaire and casual games to crash on launch after the build 27718. Related to windowing, Microsoft fixed an underlying issue which could cause the screen to go black for a few seconds for some people when using L plus tab. And also, Microsoft fixed an issue causing BitLocker to not work correctly for a small number of insiders in the last two flights. There are also a few known issues, for example, certain people are experiencing rollbacks and also some insiders with PCs that have older NVIDIA GPUs like the GTX 970 and so on are experiencing some issues after their displays appear stuck at a black screen and are responsive for seeing their GPUs showing errors in Device Manager. And also Microsoft is working on a fix for an issue causing some insiders to see a bug check with error page fault in non-page area starting with build 27723. There's also an input known issue, but you can see all that in the article below or on the official Microsoft website if you're interested. So basically, this is the build for today. A smaller build, but of course, it's better than nothing. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jumani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.